Today we will see how to apply the section formula when a point that is dividing the line is not lying on the line. Okay, the point is lying outside the line which is called an external division. So let us first understand what is it, how is an external division different from an internal division. Okay, so let us draw a line AB. Okay. And we will first see when the point C is dividing the line internally, what does it mean? It means that the point C is lying on the line AB. Okay. And we say that if it is dividing in the ratio m is to n, then AC is to BC is m is to n. How do we take the ratio? We take the ratio of one endpoint of the line, its distance from the point C, the other endpoint of the line, its distance from the point C. This is called internal division. Okay. And now, if the point divides externally, if this is the line AB and the point is lying outside the line. What does it mean dividing externally? And it is dividing externally in the ratio m is to n. So what does this ratio m is to n is? It is the distance of one endpoint which is A from the point of division to distance of the other endpoint which is B from the point of division. This is m is to n. Okay, and such kind of division is called the external division. Okay, I hope this much is understood. Now we will see one example of external division and we will see how we can solve it. Let us take the example. Let there be a point A with coordinates 4 comma 5 another point B with coordinates 7 comma minus 1 okay these are the two points and the line joining AB or the line AB is divided externally by a point C in the ratio say 4 is to 3. We have to find the coordinates of C. Okay, so let us first draw a figure. Drawing a figure gives us a better understanding of the question. So this is the line AB. Let us write the coordinates of A as 4 comma 5. The coordinates of B as 7 minus 1 is divided externally by a point C whose coordinate is say x comma y and the ratio in which it is divided is 4 the distance of point A from C and the distance of point B from C in the ratio 4 is to 3 and we have to find the coordinates of C. Now AB is to BC is given as 4 is to 3. This means that AB over BC is nothing but 4 upon 3. Correct? AB is what? Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's not AB over BC. It's AC over BC. The distance of the endpoints from the point of intersection. So AC is to BC is 4 is to 3. Now what is AC? AC is this complete thing. It can be written as AB plus BC. So I can write instead of AC, AB plus BC whole upon BC is equal to 4 by 3. I divide each term of the numerator by BC. So I get AB over BC plus BC over BC is equal to 4 by 3. Which gives us AB over BC plus 1 is equal to 4 by 3. Let us transpose 1 to the other side. So, the line segment like this, A, B, C, X, Y, 4, 5 and 7 minus 1. Now, A, B upon B, C plus 1 is 4 by 3. 
from here we get AB upon BC is 4 by 3 minus 1 which is 1 by 3. Now what is AB upon BC? AB is the distance of A from point B and BC is the distance of C from point B. So if we say that C divides externally is same as saying that B divides AC internally. Yes or no? So what we have done? We have converted this external division question to an internal division. In the, in the question we had to find the coordinates of C which is dividing AB externally. And now since we have got the ratio of AB is to BC, we can say that point B is dividing AC internally in the ratio 1 is to 3. Am I correct? Because AB is to BC is 1 is to 3. Now we can apply our regular section formula. So this is 1 is to 3. Let me write it down here. 1 is to 3. If we apply a regular section formula, the x coordinate of the point of division which is 7 should be equal to 1 multiplied by the x coordinate of the opposite side plus 3 multiplied by the x coordinate of the opposite side divided by the sum of 1 and 3 which gives us x plus 12 over 4. So from here we get 28 is x plus 12 or this implies x is equal to 60. Correct and similarly we will take the y coordinate which is negative 1 which is equal to 1 into y plus 3 into 5 divided by 1 plus 3 which gives y plus 15 over 4 which gives us negative 4 is y plus 15 or we get y as negative 19. So we are able to figure out the coordinates of C considering B as the point of internal division. So the coordinates of C are 16 comma minus 19. This is one way of solving the question where we have converted the point of C external division to a point B which is dividing internally the line segment AC and we have used our original section formula for internal division to find out the coordinates of C. Now there is a direct way of solving this question. There is a direct formula for external division. Let me just write down that formula for you. I will write the formula for both internal division and external division so that you understand and remember both of them. In case of external division, our, if the line is dividing in the ratio, the point is dividing in the ratio m is to n, then we say that the coordinates of the point are given by mx1 plus nx2 upon m plus n and the y coordinate is given by m mx2 and nx1 my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n where a is x1 y1 and b is x2 y2 and in case of external division the direct formula is a is x1 y1 b is x2 y2 the point c which we have to find out in the ratio m is to n, the direct formula is the x coordinate is m into x2 minus n into x1 divided by m minus n. Please remember there is a negative sign both in the numerator and denominator. And the y coordinate is given by m y2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n in case of external division. So either you can apply this formula directly or you can convert an external division to an internal division and then solve your question. This formula is also basically derived the way we have done our example earlier. I hope this much is clear to everyone. So if you have any doubts regarding ex uh, external division, you can send me an email at keerthi.mathacademy at gmail.com and if you have liked my video do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel math academy at the link given below thank you